Good morning, everyone. Okay, first, before I forget, because I've forgotten before, let's talk about my giveaway. I did a giveaway. I did not mention it in a video. I did mention it on my community page and in on Patreon and in my Cricut Design Space group. Let me show you guys my Patri community page because somebody asked me last night. I talked about this in the community page, my community page last night, and some people didn't know what it was. So first, let me, here, let's start off first with hello. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Bobby. Our, our, I'm going to call Bobby my channel cheerleader. He gets everybody ready in the morning. He warms everyone up. He makes us all do the wave before we chat for about a half hour before the video every Saturday morning. And he is just awesome. Ronald, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. <laughs> thank you. Um, so good morning, Joan and everybody, Christy and uh, Sheila and Gail and George and Lynn um, and Susan. And there, there's so many in here already. Uh, thank you all for coming. Today we're going to be doing a live video. After this video, I'm going to open viewer mail. This says my thing is bad. How are you guys? I did my speed test. It was good. So I'm not sure what's wrong. I'm going to check. It's on the good network. So hopefully you can hear me and see me. Are we good, guys? It should be good. My internet seems good. Speed is good. Okay. Um, okay, Matt says it's okay. What was I going to tell you guys? I'm doing a live video after this one at 12.15. That is on my channel. You can see that. And today we're going to go over material settings. Good morning, Glenda. Okay. The giveaway. Do I have that on here? Oh, I put the giveaway in the description of this video. So you can click on that. I also had it in the chat. Let me go ahead and put it in the chat again. That's not. The <laughs> Let me find the link. not that one here it is found it I'm gonna put the link in the chat and what I'm doing is giving away three things of chipboard and a knife blade thank you Cricut Cricut is uh, doing this so this is the winner of this week is Deb M. Now I know there may be lots of Deb M's. Don't get so excited. There's only one Deb M that won and I uh, will email her afterwards. Um, so it's only this one. If your name is Deb M and you're not the winner, I am sorry, but you can enter. Okay, you guys really want to hear my song? You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're gonna have a great crafting time. get started. Who here watched my video last night of the puzzle? Have you seen that video yet? Did you guys see the video of me making the puzzle? Isn't that cool? I love the knife blade and the Cricut chipboard. Look at how cool that is. It does such a nice cut. 
And I also did this on a mat board, if you haven't seen that video. I just released another one of this cutting today. And here is a sneak peek of another project. Um, I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do it live, so I only have half of it together. And so I'll show you this. Isn't that cool? Okay, this is from the Cartridge sum front Summer in Paris. It's about five years old. I've been wanting to make this for five years. And I never did. So now I'm making it. I started this last week. And um, I want to wait to do it, to put it together live with you. Thank you so much, Bobby. I really appreciate that. Okay. Well, let's get started on today's video, I think. Is that what we're needing to do? Okay. Here is custom materials for the maker. And I also have the air. They are different materials for the different machines. Well, all of the Explore machines have the same materials and then the maker has another material. Okay, so to get to the Hold on, I have to, I cannot watch my video because it's behind. Do you get to the material settings? You click here. Manage custom materials. And if you guys have questions, please put them in all caps. You cannot cut this Cricut chipboard on the air too. It is way too thick. Okay, now when you do custom materials, you do have to choose which machine. This one I'm cutting, I'm using the Explore Air. This one is the Maker, so I have different tabs open for different um, machines. Oh, and while it's doing that, here's my community page. When you go to my channel, you just click on community. Here is my... Um, Melody and May May giving it, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, collecting money for St. Jude's. We have a goal of 10,000. And on May 17th, we're gonna do a chatter noon where you can call in and talk to me and May May. And we have giveaways and prizes. The more money we collect, the more we're gonna give away. And, oh, this is the, you can enter, the giveaway here, I did post this 24 minutes ago. So there is a link in the description below and in the chat or here on my community page. And if you're uh, not familiar with this, I try to release sales and like when Star Wars came out, I posted that the Star Wars was out. I posted heads up on some stuff and some sales and a new product. The Be Amazing uh, Cricut Makeathon. You can now buy tickets for that. And I will be there. So will Ken Hess, Lori Nunemaker, and Carol Prevo. We're going to have a lot of fun. And hopefully we get to meet you guys there. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do? Ken Hess did this in another video to show you how to get notification of going live. Um, okay, I don't know why there's two lives here for the same video. Here's the next video. Here is Sheila and Michael shenanigans. If you missed that, it's hilarious. The craft off is fun. This video is only 30 seconds long of them dancing. Um, uploads. This is the newest video I um, uploaded or made public. And... Here is a playlist of all the knife blade videos. 
Here's a playlist of all the design space classes you may have missed. There are 40 of them. You can click play all and choose which ones to watch. Thank you, Bobby, for posting the community page link. And then here are more. Here's some Mother Day projects that I've done in the past. Okay, now let's go to Ken's Creations. And I'm going to show you how to hit the bell. Because you can't just hit the bell and get every notification. See, I have the bell clicked. I'm going to unclick it. Now I'm going to click it. And then I forgot what to do. You ha I think you have to go to your channel. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot how to do the, the Cricut Makeathon is in Salt Lake City, Utah. It will not be anywhere else. Oh, the co community doesn't work on tablets. I think it does. Maybe it does on Android. Guys, I do not remember. Is it the dashboard? There's somewhere you go to set your settings in settings. Somebody's saying settings. Oh, that's right. Over here in settings? I don't know. Click on notifications, it's under settings. I don't see settings. Name, settings, notification. Here it is. <laughs> uh, so I always go to Creator Studio, but you just click on your name up here. Thank you, Renee. Click on settings and click on notifications. This is where it's at. And... I have desktop notifications turned on, so I get a notification up here in the right-hand corner of my computer on all these. Okay, yeah, when you click a bell, a box pops up. I thought a box popped up too. That's why I was confused. Okay, so make sure you set it so you get all notifications. Okay, so... It, Community does work on an on iPad, I wish. Um, oh, it doesn't work on the YouTube app. If you go to the browser, I think it does. Okay, let's get to what we're here for. Okay, so now we're in the Explore Air. Let's go over these settings first because these are different. There is a dial settings. So some people have problem that their machine doesn't cut perfectly or they're using a different paper or they're using a different vinyl than maybe what these settings are for. Maybe use a different brand that is thicker or thinner than what Cricut has set it for. So they give you the option. You can change this. You can add a multi-cut up to nine for all these materials. You can change your blade to deep point blade. This doesn't really matter too much. You just put whatever blade in you want to put. Uh, and you can change the pressure. If you're using thicker paper, you want to change the, the pressure or a thinner paper. You can, or lower the pressure. Oh, it won't lower more than that. 
you can just go one at a time, hitting the plus or minus. I want to cancel this because my stuff cuts pretty good. Uh, and vinyl. I have always used vinyl plus. I would just rather it cut just a little bit deeper. But some people may cut too deep. And what you want to do is edit it lower the pressure so it will only let you change it within this green area and they must have their reasons for that because this area is bigger than what the area was on um, the paper and then you have to save it I'm gonna cancel because I don't want to change that and a lot of people are using vinyl if they're cutting glitter paper or I mean glitter vinyl that's a different setting if you're cutting glitter vinyl, you need to move your dial to custom and then look up glitter vinyl. And if you notice, these are not in alphabetical order. They're in order of cut pressure. So, and here's premium outdoor vinyl. That is different than just vinyl. So you need to make sure, let's see what that is. So the vinyl, they have 171 and 176 for Vinyl Plus, but the outdoor vinyl, they only have 160. So if you're cutting too deep, you might want to make sure you have the correct setting. I also want to go over the setting for fabric. Notice Cardstock Plus and fabric have the exact same setting except for fabric you do two times cut. So I've said this before, that if you have cardstock and you want it to cut twice, you can just move it, the dial, to fabric plus, and it will cut the same. I think these are really interesting too. Um, so you have notebook paper, wrapping paper. There's all different kinds of wrapping paper. And if your wrapping paper is thicker or thinner, and you always use the same brand or the same kind, you can change the pressure. They let you go this one all the way to 350. So you can change the pressure to cut how you want it to. Are these all, they won't let you cut less than 100. Probably because it won't do anything. So, you know, here's glitter vinyl, pattern iron-on, printable iron-on dark. Now, notice pattern iron-on is different than just iron-on. Here's foil iron-on. So you can't just move the dial to iron-on. This is one thing I want to get out there that so many people are doing and they're not getting the perfect cut they need. Um, Susan, I don't know how to change the settings on a PC. Um, I, I don't remember how on a PC. Okay. Um, I'm going over the questions too, trying to read those at the same. Is there a default? All these are default. Holographic sparkle vinyl has a much higher pressure. Window clean. Iron-on holographic sparkle has even more pressure. Make sure you're using the correct ones. And if you're not sure that your product, oh, and here's cardstock for intricate cuts. It's 219 and two times. Shimmer leather is not just leather. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew that there was much more shimmer paper or sparkle paper. They're different settings than just the paper and they go over two times to make sure you get the greatest cut.
and I'm going to go over the maker settings. This one is for the Explore Air 2. Notice the highest setting on this is 344. You can edit that to go up to 350. That's the strongest setting for the Cricut Explore series of machines. So many people ask, well, what's the difference? Do I really need to upgrade? Well, let's go over to the maker settings. I'm just gonna scroll down. Takes a while to scroll through this one. For extra heavy fabrics like burlap, it'll go up to 3,800. Let's edit this. No, it'll go up to 4,000. That's over 10 times more pressure. This is what the difference is. Look at all these pressures for these products. And fabrics and materials. Uh, Terrence is asking if the letters or things like that don't have the thickness, how can you tell what you have? That's when I suggest that you do a test cut just cut out maybe a heart or a star or a circle or a triangle in a little corner. And it will um, see how it cuts. Maybe to do a couple of them. No, I would just do one and test it. And if it didn't cut through, change the pressure to a little bit more pressure or to another multi-cut. So you'll notice the top of this one does not have the dial because the maker doesn't have the dial. It goes straight to um, the custom materials. And these start out really low too. Rice paper, you need the deep point blade, but it's only 70 pressure. window cling in this one is different than the other one. I wonder if that's correct. I haven't cut window cling yet. So the pressures on the maker machine may be different than the pressure on the other machines. And I also want to point out the knife blade settings. Here's the knife blade. For garment leather, let me show you what happens. Editing knife blade settings is not allowed. The reason it's not allowed, let's see if I can, oh, you can change it to a different, for, to the deep point blade if you like, and change that. It might not work on all materials though. But let me tell you why it's not allowed is because they have set the settings. They, they've worked three years on the maker and the settings and the knife blade to get it perfect. And the knife blade goes through one, you know, one cut and then goes to another cut. Each cut, each pass of the cut is not the same. Sometimes it gives it more pressure depending on the material you're using or the more cuts it has, the more pressure it goes. So each pass of these four times may not all be the exact same pressure or speed. Does that make sense? Yeah, Faye, it looks like some of the pressures are different. Window clean here on the maker. And, oh wait, let me cancel this. Where did I find the window cling here? I'm never gonna find it. I don't think it was this high. Uh, 
I don't see it on here now. It is here. Yeah, I bought Caliper too. I haven't used it yet. Good morning, Connie. Okay, does anyone have any more questions on the settings? Connie, these settings we're looking at right now are for the Explorer. I have two tabs open. So this one is for the Maker and this one is for the Explorer. So you can see the difference. And metallic poster board is two ninety nine. dollars Oh, regular poster board is two ninety nine dollars too. I thought maybe those were different. Now this corrugated cardboard is probably Cricut brand of corrugated cardboard. So if you're using different corrugated cardboard, you may need to change the setting. Oh, you can also add new material. So what you do is you do the name of it. I'm just doing a test just so we can do this. Thank you, Sue. Now here's my test. And we have the option to go all the way down to 10 all the way up to 350 to set this for whatever we like and we can do up to nine times cuts and we can choose the blade um, let's just save this okay now here it is the test that I did You know, I wonder how this, okay, let's go in here and pretend we're cutting something. I haven't done this before. Oh no, plug in error. I thought I restarted these. Okay. do it on this one no plug-in error Okay, let's try it again. Let's click make it. Let's continue. Um, I did that one in the Cricut error. And if you use the deep cut blade, even when it doesn't ask for it for more intricate stuff, it works better for more intricate things. Now let's browse all materials. Now you can search a material here. So I'm just going to search my test. This is the test cut I did. So it's ready to cut. I'm not really going to cut it. And I can change the pressure to a little more or a little less. I usually choose more just because I like a little, I always want to be sure it cuts. 
Um, and I know a lot of people say the adhesive foil doesn't always, let's cancel this. It asked me what to cancel. Um, I'm going to go back up to manage custom settings. The adhesive foil does not always cut. It's hard to weed. So I always add more pressure to that. So if you always have a problem with the adhesive foil, um, weeding it, here it is. You could always just add a little more pressure to it. And then maybe do a test cut after you add pressure to make sure it doesn't cut too far. Just cut a tiny little star or something. And if it's good, um, then keep it at that. I'm gonna cancel. You might wanna write down what you start at. So if you wanna change it back, you can always change it back to their default settings. The knife blade is smarter than people. Where do you go to get to this page? You go up here, see where I'm circling the three lines next to the word canvas? You click on that. And then it's manage custom materials right here. And then you select the device because if I select the maker, I get different settings, but I'm going to select this because over here, I don't know what this is doing. Let's just go ahead and do the maker. Yeah, it's a good idea to take notes during my videos. If you've missed any of my videos, that's every single Saturday. Uh, there are over 40 videos. There's a playlist. They're in the cards of this video. So if you click up in the top right, there's a little eye up here. If you move the mouse up there or touch your screen, and then you can click on that and there'll be a card for all 40 of the videos. What is the column that shows 4X and 2X? That is for um, two times the cut. So it's gonna go around it two times, or this one will go around it three times. Like this one, the knife blade, let me find some. Here's tooling leather, it goes 16 times. The Cricut chipboard, which is amazing, I can show that to you if you haven't seen it yet. It goes 20 times at 650 pressure. This is why the machines are different and this is why they cannot make the knife blade for the older machines. They just can't do it. The machines are not made enough. Thank you, Gina. They're not made strong enough. They would have loved to put them in the Explorer machines, but they just wouldn't work. They had to rebuild a whole new machine for that. Yeah, these are all preset for that. And the knife blade um, materials, you cannot change or edit. But you can all the other ones. Like this one, we can edit. If we think it needs one more pass, we can change it to seven and save it. Wow, this is as strong as it goes, 350. I'm gonna pull this back, or I just hit cancel. Oh, not as strong as it goes. That's as strong as the Explore machines go. The knife blade goes much stronger.
So you can see the pressure that these the maker can do. Does the uh, additional pressure affect the length the blade last? I, it depends on the material that affects how long the blade lasts. Cutting chipboard is not going to last as um, cutting fabric or, well, you wouldn't use the same one. I don't, it just depends on what it is. If it's a more dense material, it's not going to last as long as a less dense material. Like the regular uh, fine tip blade, if you're cutting paper, it will not last as long as if you're cutting vinyl or fabric, bonded fabric. Yeah, the maker takes care. I personally have never changed the material settings. Never once on any of my projects. I usually cut on paper plus and vinyl plus and iron on plus. I just like just that little bit more pressure. The maker is an amazing machine. Do we have any more questions on um, design space or the knife blade or the chipboard or anything? Any of the new stuff? Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Vivian. Oh, Rosa Ball, I see your question way at the top. Um, you wanted help with felt on the Air 2. Tips on setting, please. It depends on what felt you're using, who makes it, the brand, how fibrous it is, um, what heat and bond you have attached to it. I would just do a few test cuts. And then once you like it, you can create your own setting. Go down to the bottom and you can add your new material and say for you know a certain brand of felt you could add here so then you always know that is a good one to for the felt that you use fine point blade and deep point blade Fine point blade is the original blade the machines come with. The deep point blade is a lot of the same blade, but the point is pointier and the angle of the cut is bigger. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I almost need to just draw a picture. Like the point, you can't. I don't think I'll be able to show you the actual two cuts and see the difference. Will I? Let me see. Okay. Can you? This one I need to wipe off. It's glitter on it. So if you're not getting a good cut, I just wipe it with my finger. Like, I just go like this on the sides of it. Never cut my finger. Sometimes I take the blade out, blow inside the hole, and 
There's even dust on it. I just push that up and wipe it with my finger on the side. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. Let me get this mat board. Whoops, going the wrong way. It's not focusing. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is the Let me see if I can see the difference first. Okay. Can you see it? I don't think you guys can see it. But the blade on the deep cut blade goes more at an angle, like the angle of my finger here, and the other one goes more this way. So it's thicker at the end and the... Deep cut has a finer point on the end. Yeah, the deep cut blade is better for intricate cuts. I'm going to go back and read your chat. I've never tried the deep cut blade without the deep cut housing. Okay, are there any other questions? Correct. Correct. The deep cut blade is not any longer. It's just the angle of the blade. So the angle of the blade, the sharp part of the blade is longer this way than the other, than the regular blade. Let me see if I can draw you a picture. I'm horrible at drawing pictures. Don't laugh. So Janice, I got your message the other day that, did I get your birthday card? I did get your card and I'm going to open it in my next video. And I just looked at the back. Open now, sorry, late, it's okay if it's late. Okay, so here is the regular fine point blade. Here is the deep cut. Let me, I'm just gonna put a line across here so you guys can see better. So they're actually the same length, but the angle of the blade, it's hard to do this backwards, is taller than this one. Does that make sense? So this is why this is better for thicker materials because the angle, if, okay, let me draw paper. Okay. So let's say this is good for paper. I only need it that thick. And say I'm cutting foam or something, 
or leather. Well, actually leather, I still use this one, depending on the thickness, the faux leather. Um, it'll cut deeper than this one if the product is this thick. Actually, let's go here. So if the product is like that thick, and then say paper is only this thick, Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Uh, do you have to have the housing for the deep cut blade? Jamie just said in the chat that you don't have to have it. I've never tried it without it. Um, I suggest having the housing so you know which one is which. Otherwise, if you don't switch things back, you don't know what it is. Also, I suggest... If you're cutting different materials to use the different ones this is the bonded fabric blade but it's really just a different blade housing different color so you know the difference your blade will last much longer if you use this for fabric this will last much longer than if you're using the same blade for all the materials you'll be replacing your blade more often Here's a gold blade. I use this one when I'm cutting vinyl. I use this one for deep cut. So changing out the blades so often I know which one to use. Like you have different scissors for cutting fabric and for cutting scissors. Yeah, Jamie says if you're cutting deep, deeper fabrics, or not fabrics, or deep, deeper materials, you need the black housing because you can see the black housing is shorter than the top one. The blade sticks out much further. So the if you're cutting thick materials, the blade is not long enough. Not enough of the blade sticks out of this one like it does this one. I just explained why you need the different housings just to save the blade. You don't have to have them. You can do everything in this one except for thicker materials. Yeah, the different housings are just to remember the different blades you're using. Uh oh, we're lagging. Okay, it says good now. Sorry, it did say lagging or bad. It should be good now. So when I saw that it was lagging for everybody, I checked and I just stopped. So you didn't miss anything. The deep cut housing is for the Explorer Air or the Explorer Air 2. 
or the maker, I mean. It's for, all the Explore machines are all the same. They have a few different features maybe, but they all use Design Space. They all use the same blades the same. Bye, Christy. The, it says it's good now. Thank you, Joan. Okay, do we have any other questions? Oh, that's actually my diffuser. It's an aerial diffuser from Young Living. And it has that music. You can turn it off. I usually turn it off. And remember, next Saturday, I will be here 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I don't know what the class is going to be about. It really depends on what questions people are asking me the most or if I see people are having problems. Uh, I want to help them with the problems. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, everyone. Now I'm going to be doing, I have it set for 1215 for the next video because I wanted to, if I went over on this video to not be late for that one. And I'm going to be opening for your mail. That won't be a long video. I have three or four things to show you, but somebody sent me a huge box. I already opened that box, but I'm going to show you what was in it. And if you missed my, if you missed the beginning or missed my video last night, I did a puzzle last night, cut it out of Cricut chipboard. Look how thick that is. Doesn't that look like a professional um, puzzle? Isn't that awesome? So I show how I did this picture. I flattened the date, just put May. 2000 in here. I show how to make it with Cricut images. The puzzle is actually a Cricut image. And here's a project I'm going to be doing. I put two sides together. It has four sides. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. I cut this out like, I think over a week ago when I first got my knife blade. So look out for those videos. Yes, Evelyn, it was from you. I'm gonna show everybody what you sent me. It's awesome. Thanks, Joan. All right, guys. Can the puzzle pieces be made larger? Yes. You can. Um, let me show you. Let me switch it over to show you the puzzle pieces. We got some time. I'm usually here for an hour. Let's just see if we can search puzzles. No. I have to search puzzle. So here's seven of them. This cartridge is called Puzzle Me This, Puzzle Me That. Here are really big pieces. Here are smaller pieces. And a circle and a heart and a square and uh, rounded corners. You can um, change the shape of these also, if you want it. 
Let's just bring this one in. So if you unlock it, you can change it just like any other one. It'll just, it just won't be shapes like we would normally do. Yeah, you could do the puzzle with magnetic board. I made a puzzle on my Explore machine a few years ago, a unicorn puzzle. I had the Explore draw on it and I watercolored on it. Um, and I cut the puzzle out of what I use, watercolor paper, 140 pound. No, the next video will be on my channel. Uh, if you search Melody Lane on YouTube, so the next video is right here. Why does it say 9.15? It says 18 minutes left. But that's where you go for the next video. Yeah, the magnet sheets are printable. Thanks, Joan. Let me see if I can find that video. Um, there it is. So if you go to my channel and you, in the search, you type in puzzle unicorn, uh, you'll find this. I made a puzzle with watercolor and use my watercolor pens. I did that two years ago before the maker was out. And I used a puzzle image by Jen Goody in Design Space. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, I show how to get the image on, oh, let me click here on videos. So if you guys want to see my older videos, you can just click on videos here. Oh, that's not there. Oh, YouTube's having a problem. You normally hit videos. Um, there it is. It came. So. Puzzles with Cricut Knife Blade. You can watch that video and I show how I got the picture on the puzzle. Yeah, I put it on before I cut it. Thank you, Joan. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go, and I will be back in 15 minutes with another video. I do this every first Saturday of the month. I open viewer mail. So if you want to see your projects opened, if you want to send me something and see it opened on video, um, just do that. And send it to me and I'll open it. All 
All right. Thank you, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Just a few minutes. Bye.